since I'm getting the beaver dam kit here soon, and I'm done with my mud skipper prime kit, I'd like to see what one of these shafts looks like after a season. So I put over 200 miles on this thing, well over 200 miles last year, and a little bit this year. So over close to 300 miles I put on this, which a lot of people might not think that's a lot, especially some of those mud guys up there in the swamps, but it's quite a bit for this long tail. But just everything stopped, you know, no new bolts, just from the factory, from CKS manufacturer. So let's take this shaft apart and see what this looks like after the season. So already inside the shaft, now I had cleaned this before with oil. I, I didn't take it apart though. CKS. I think it looks like it's in pretty dang good shape. The only reason why this would probably be beat up if we didn't have it all the way in your coupler. So these are not sealed shafts, you know, they're, they're open shafts. So water, moisture, grind can get inside of them. They have bushings, wood bushings, or beaver dams case, they have polymer bushings. American mud motors, they're sealed shafts, so they don't have bushings. They got bearings, they're sealed shafts, so they prevent uh, all that moisture and grime from getting inside of them. So that's the difference right there between a tie kit and an American. Plastic bushing. You guys also want to uh, not forget about the skag. Now, a little bit of dirt right there, but here is the skag after a season. You know, I would beat on it at the end. So there's this piece here, you know, I mean, that started to get flat. I'd beat on it. But guys, I mean, it, it put up with a season, going through rocks, and probably maybe got shaved thin a little bit, but it uh, it stood up. Not been easy. It's very, very, very coarse and gritty. Uh, what's inside of this this grease? A lot of little pebbles. I was actually finding tiny little powder river rocks inside of it. But yeah, you know, when you don't have a sealed shaft, there's uh, there's grit and stuff. Now it's okay. It's not like it's gonna lead to a catastrophic failure. But just so you guys are aware, what's inside of these shafts? Pretty, pretty dirty. There's the shaft. Pretty greasy and grimy. Pretty greasy and grimy stuff. Um, this internal bushing, look at that, cracked. That wood bushing. Now this is why I like the beaver dam design. The mud skipper design, and the SPS design uses wood bushings for their internal bushings. Now it's not like it's a terrible thing because that is a traditional design. But you get things like this, look at that, cracks. Also, a little play. See that? That's from that spinning in the inside and hollowing it out. So what I'm doing guys, I'm gonna cut this shaft in half 
but I want to actually see the inside of this. I want to check everything out. So I'm not going to lie. I'm a little surprised. I thought this was solid. Not so bad. So there's that. And there's that. Substant like much different. Look at this end. And look at this end. And this was more towards this end, so it must have been rattling a little bit to be able to dig it out like that. So we're gonna clean these off. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I mean, I really, I don't know why, but I, you know, I thought this thing was completely solid. No, not hollow, but. Wow. Let me see you guys. Here's the part with the skag. Not a lot of, well, yeah, I can feel grit inside of it, guys. A lot of, not a lot, but some grit. So that's the wood bushing. I'm gonna get out of here. We're gonna get a good look at it. This one doesn't look like it's in bad shape. I'll tell you what, this is in there. So, cut the shaft in half, got my bushings out, we're just gonna kinda look at what they look like here. Gonna hear what it sound, sounds like. There's a bigger piece, you guys. SPS, this is all just one piece. But Mud Skipper, they actually weld these two. So this is a little bit bigger, this is smaller, they weld these two. So there is one difference between the SPS and the Mud Skipper is that this is welded right here. Now, the shaft, guys, I was really surprised. So this is solid shaft. The inside of it, hollow. Hollow guys, look at that hollow. You know, maybe that's okay for, for, for lightness, but there's vibration. A lot of vibration, it uh, moves, so they gotta have these bushings in here. Now guys, I had to pull a lot of grease and grime off of these, but the shaft is in pretty dang good shape. It's, it's pretty tough. This part, really good shape, and I even beat on it with a hammer to get all this out, it's fine. Now the bushings, the bushings, guys. Here's the plastic bushings. So here's this end piece. This is closest to your prop. You see how it's small like that? Now look at this. That's the other side. A little bit bigger. Vibrating inside and eating away this bushing. Next, we got the wood bushing. It's on the inside of the pipe. It stops it from vibrating around. Uh, guys, these are wood bushings. This is a traditional design. So, first of all, um, I saw a big crack. Yeah, a big crack right through here. And you could really see it kind of cracking right through here. So this thing was really on the verge of, of falling apart. Now, look at this. Here's this end. 
just closer up the shaft now down here look at that bigger eating away the inside of this shit this uh wood bushing so we're moving up the shaft it was more this way pointed this way you notice how it's pointing more towards it's as we go up guys the see it's vibrating the shaft is vibrating down so it's eating away this side is bigger than this side see it's eating away these bushings and this one doesn't look like it's going to crack so we're moving on up but guys these bushings are a little heavier duty a little bit thicker so this one i actually accidentally damaged trying to get it out so that was my bad but so i was hammering it out like this and uh here's this end seems okay now that i, I kind of hammered in but it seems like this is okay the difference in thickness possibly even wood now here's the end okay guys this is as close as up to the shaft closest up here well closest up closest up to here okay you see that end small look at this end it's bigger now there is it's bigger right here just the way it's designed but it's actually see guys it's the shaft is moving and and it's eating these things away so the shaft is vibrating inside and so it's getting wider at the end towards you get towards the end even the plastic bushing was getting eaten away so i don't know i think the shaft is in good shape i'm disappointed to learn that it's not completely solid just a hollow bugger a lot of vibration so that's a bummer um guys i had a a pretty decent experience with mud skipper though i will say i did not like the bolts some people say that i was over torquing the bolts but the thing is guys there's a lot of vibration with these mud skipper kits and these tie kits and with these bolts not being grade eight that vibration can cause weaknesses